In this video, I'll take you through some of the key similarities and differences between refined sites for Confluence Cloud and refined sites on Confluence Server and Data Center. One of the key differences is the way that the apps are deployed. On Server and Data Center, Refined is installed from the Atlassian Marketplace and then takes over the Confluence UI, allowing admins to build out separate sites containing different spaces organized into categories. On cloud, the same functionality exists, but the way that the app is deployed is different. Refined is still installed from the Atlassian Marketplace and then integrates with Atlassian Cloud and on a parallel refined cloud allows you to build out your sites and then group in your spaces in the same way that you do on server and data center. The key difference here is that we don't replace the native Confluence cloud, but that exists in its current state. And Refined is then used as a parallel SaaS service, allowing you to present the content from that Atlassian cloud on your separate Refined sites. And I'll show you how this looks like in practice. So here we have an example. We have on the left side of your screen, a Confluence data center instance themed with Refined. I have my different spaces in here. And then as you can see, all the spaces as I've grouped them together in this site are accessible on this site. And then here I have my cloud version. Uh, I've been able to add the same spaces on here and the content from my spaces is available on my cloud site as well. So one of the key things to think about here is how spaces are created on server data center. So everything is happening in the same context since we're theming on the native Confluence instance. So I can go ahead and create a space. And then once the space is created, I can choose where on this site it will live. Define a space layout and add it in. And now my new space is here. On cloud, because of the way the app is deployed as a parallel SaaS, the space creation happens in native Confluence. So if I want to create a new space, then I go into Confluence. I create a new space. Now that this space is created, I go in to my site and I add in the space in the site structure. And then I can simply move it up to the section of the site that I want it to live in. And now my space is available on my site. So one of the key things to think about here on cloud is that we theme the presentation of your, of your space on your refined site, but the space in native Confluence is not themed. If you want to theme your spaces on native Confluence in cloud, then we recommend using our secondary app, the Refine Toolkit for Confluence Cloud. And with this, you can create Customize landing pages on the native Confluence cloud side. So this is one option if you need to have spaces themed in native Confluence as well. You can think of these two apps as complementing each other. If you have some spaces, for example, for internal teams where they want to work in native Confluence but have a nice landing page, use some of our macros to make their content more accessible and more readable, then Refine Toolkit is a good option for that. For presenting spaces on a fully customized site, then you can use refined sites for Confluence Cloud. I'll also mention here the editing experience for pages in Confluence. So if I want to edit a page on Server Data Center, then I click Edit within the same context. I can add changes directly here and then update the page. And as it lives within the refined site, I see the latest updates there directly. For cloud, if I want to edit a page, then I need to first have permission to do this in Confluence, of course, since all of our authentication and user permissions follow what is set up in Atlassian. 
but I can go ahead, if I have permission in Atlassian, I have a shortcut here to edit the page. I can make my changes here. Let's do something simple. Update the page. And then what happens is the latest version of this page is always served on the refine side. So all I need to do here is refresh the page. And then I can see the latest version as per what is in Confluence. A common question that we often get is whether it's possible to redirect this page to the refine side. Uh, the answer to that currently, it isn't possible since we don't have that much control over what happens in Confluence Cloud UI. And that's the key difference in terms of creation of spaces and being able to edit pages on those spaces as well. I hope that this has been useful. If you have any questions for us, please feel free to reach out via our help center, help.refine.com.